Hi everyone, it's John from What Up. Welcome back. Uh, it's only been a couple of days since my last video. As some of you know, I released one on Christmas Day that dealt with the casting of Alana Mosfani and her two warders. That was a big treat for me because I did not expect to see any official news from Wheel of Time on Prime for the rest of the year. The cast and the crew broke for the holidays and they weren't expected back at work until January. And I kind of thought maybe the news would stay away until January as well. I was wrong and I love being wrong about that stuff. Uh, and we had our casting. Now again, after the casting was done, I thought, you know what, we're probably not going to see anything else for the rest of the year. Um, and again, I was wrong. I love being wrong. It's great. So, a couple of pictures were leaked to the net yesterday. And I say leaked because they were not put out by Wheel of Time on Prime. They're not put out by Rafe the Showrunner. They have no official connection to the Amazon Prime show at all. However, you'll see when you see the pictures, and you can see one up on the screen right now, we're pretty sure they're Wheel of Time pictures. Now, Narg from the Daily Trollock is the one that put these pictures out. Now, they were posted on his subreddit, which I've linked in the description box down below, and they're also put out on his Twitter. Again, linked in the description box down below. For those of you who don't know who Narg is, Narg has been a pillar of the Wheel of Time community for years. Narg has done everything you can think of to do with the Wheel of Time, uh, and currently, um, a lot of sleuthing. So, pictures, going through social media, finding out articles, things of that nature. It all goes up in the subreddit. Again, it's tweeted out. And Narg has been a pretty big source of news for those of us in the fandom. And if you don't know who he is or haven't checked out Narg's stuff, please do so. Like I said, it's down in the description box down below. Now, two things before we start into the video. First thing is spoilers. There are some spoilers to this video because we're going to talk about certain scenes in the book um, that have to do with these pictures. Now, I'm going to say spoilers up to and including the end of Chapter 10 of The Great Hunt. And you'll see why when we start talking about the pictures, why I chose that specific chapter. The second thing I want to talk about is I spoke with Narg earlier today and basically asked permission to use these pictures. I mean, they're everywhere now. He put them up, but I mean, you can find them on all the Facebook groups. They, they've, they've traveled like wildfire. But there was one caveat. Narg didn't mind me putting them in the video and talking about them and doing a lot of conjecture and things like that. Um, but Narg did want me to mention that they are not official set pictures. It is not a for sure thing that they're Emmons Field. It's just something that Narg thinks. Um, and that they could not be Wheel of Time pictures at all. We don't even know that for sure. I mean, most of us are going under the assumption that they are because they were posted in a similar fashion to some of the other pictures that were put up. However, just so you guys are warned, these could all be duds. We don't really know. I'm leaning towards they're pretty official and, and, and they're from the Wheel of Time. But again, it's not 100% confirmed. All right, let's get into the pictures. All right, on to the pictures. Um, so as we go through these pictures, it's been assumed by a lot of folks that this is Emmons Field. Again, I do want to say that these are not 100% for sure, even set pictures of the Wheel of Time. But a lot of people seem to think so because they are posted in and around the same time that Rafe posted the picture of the goat. And that was the Wheel of Time Emmons Field picture that he gave us, which was a goat. Kind of a gag on his, his behalf. And it, people thought it was kind of funny, but it didn't show much. So people think it's Emmons Field. And I mean, if you look at this picture, we all know that the green tarps are a very big staple of the two rivers. Uh, they grow them and produce them there. No, they don't. It's, it's, it's tobacco and wool. We know that. <laughs> but... Um, we take a look at this first picture here. You have about you know five or six structures in it. The houses are very neat looking. Uh, they they look like they've been built really well. Actually, it looks like something that's straight out of a Lord of the Rings or a Hobbit movie. Um, really high production value for this stuff, at least anyway. So this gives me a lot of hope that if it is a Wheel of Time set, that the sets are going to be fantastic. The green tarp over the wagon is probably just protecting something. Production is probably it looks like they've kind of like locked up for the night or the day for the shooting, and they're just trying to protect whatever's in the wagon from the elements. Um, so, if we take a look at these pictures, there's not really much to see in them that I can tell. Uh, there's some houses here, but I want you to notice the roofs. Uh, the roofs in Emmons Field are thatch in the books. These aren't thatch. These are wooden shingles. Now, we know that later on in the books, clay shingles uh, do come out, clay tiles rather, come out on the roofs um, when, the, when the town is expanded. But right now, at the very start, it was mainly thatch, and there's no thatch in this picture. So that's the first thing that leads me to believe that this is probably not Ammon's Field. Let's go on to the next picture. Next picture here, we have uh, what looks to be a drying rack out front and a major structure in the background. We're going to get to that major structure in the next picture. It's a little more closer shot. Now... A lot of people looking at these pictures, they see that that major structure, that's the Wine Spring Inn, quite possibly. It's definitely Emmons Field. 
I don't think it is. Um, they're really well built houses. There is some stuff drawing in that rack. I can't really tell what it is. If you folks can, or if you think you know in the comments down below, please let me know. Um, but it does not look like tobacco to me. Um, it kind of looks like maybe fish or meat. Um, it's quite possible it's something else, right? So we go to the next picture. It is a closer shot of that big structure in the back. Now it does look like an inward look, although I don't see the wine spring. I don't see the fountain. I don't see the willows. I don't see any of that stuff around the inn um, because the inn is built right near it and it gets its name from the wine spring, the wine spring inn. Um, and I see none of that in the shot. So unless they change some major things about Emmons Field, which they may very well do so, um, the, 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 uh, the wooden shingles and the roofs are easier to maintain. Um, maybe they wanted to make these shots. They couldn't find a place with a specific spring or river right in it to make it happen. Or they're going to do some crazy CGI or some other fancy stuff to make it look more like it is in the books. Uh, that's quite possible too. And then our next shot is a very wide shot. Now, from this wide shot, you can definitely tell there is no wine spring. There is no river. There's no willow trees. None of the houses have thatch roofs. Um, I don't see... The Miller's in there. I don't see any of the stuff that is mentioned in the books um, that would be from Emmons Field. Now, feel free in the comments down below. Let me know if you see things, specific things that you think would, you know, relate to Emmons Field in the Two Rivers. Um, I don't see them personally, and I've gone with the pictures a little bit, but I get old eyes, uh, and... You know, many hands makes light work type thing. So if you guys, if you guys want to take a look at the pictures and you see things that I don't, um, please let me know. Now, I'm going to read you something here, and it is a description of Emmons Field. The community is the largest of the villages in the region and has been built surrounding a green where a natural aquifer, the wine spring, flows continuously from a low stone outcropping. The wine spring is the headwater for the wine spring water, which flows east through the green under two low-railed footbridges the wagon bridge, and passes adjacent to the wine spring inn. From there, the stream widens with willow trees dotting its banks, passing the mill owned by John Thane, and eventually splits into several flows in the water road before draining into the mire. While some villagers reside within the community limits, others like Tamil and Lathor live on outlying farms. So that is an official description of Emmons Field. From this picture, I get none of that. Not personally. So, if this is a Wheel of Time picture, and I think it is, I don't think it's Emmons Field. I'll let you know what I do think it is, though. All right, what do I think it is? Well, I have two theories. The first theory is, is this could be generic village number one. <laughs> so it could be used as any of the villages that the uh, the characters travel through. Um, so big one that comes to mind is Four Kings in the first book. Um, that's when uh, Rand and Matt get trapped in the back room of the inn, and... We all know what happens there. And if you don't know what happens there, I won't spoil it for you. Uh, but it is a pretty notable area in the first book. Um, and this kind of, you know, if you take a look at that, it is an inn. It's quite possible they're using it for that. Um, the other thing I think it could be is, and this this is this is kind of a stretch on my part, um, but I've said it before, I think that they're going to weave certain plot lines from The Great Hunt into the first season. Most people are operating, operating under the assumption that one season... One book, that's it, that's all, and pre people are pretty adamant about that. I don't think it's going to happen. In fact, I'm sure it won't happen. Because you have multiple plot lines, you have multiple characters, all doing different things, and they're not going to go shot for shot with the books. They can't. It's impossible. So they're going to follow some plot lines, and when they reach a natural conclusion to the main ones they're following, then they'll stop the first season. Now, we don't know the names of the last two episodes, so it's quite possible they're showing some things from The Great Hunt. Now, we know for sure that episode six is sort of maybe kind of called The Flame of Tarvalon. That could be when the Amberlin comes to uh, Faldara, and it's the start of The Great Hunt. Um, that's when that happens. That's possible. We're not 100% sure on that name. It hasn't been officially confirmed, but, you know, everyone's pretty sure that's what it is. So I think that there are some elements of the Great Hunt. So I said earlier that uh, spoilers up to it, including Chapter 10 of the Great Hunt. Why? Well, in Chapter 10 of the Great Hunt, that's where Rand and Huron come across a village. And they are basically chasing the horn. They're chasing Fane and his dark friends and the Trollocs and the Fade he had with them. Uh, and Huron the Sniffer is finding them as they go along. Now, this particular village in Chapter 10 of the Great Hunt is where Rand gets trapped. He goes into a, uh, you know, a, a house 
And every time he blinks, it kind of resets. And it, it's a really strange, strange occurrence that was never really truly explained in the books. Now, Robert Jordan did later on, in an interview, confirm that Fane had done that to Rand, and it was a time loop. It was one of the many powers that Fane had that weren't really truly explained in the books. Uh, it, one thing I really wish they are going to do in this is they expand upon Fane's character quite a bit, because he is so cool, he does so many cool things, and he has so many really neat little powers that... You don't really know about, and they just kind of happen in the books, and it's like, oh yeah, that's what he can do. They don't talk about them very much. So, so I hope they expand upon him a bit more. Now, this could be that village. I mean, it does fit in. It does look like um, houses that would be close to the Blight. Uh, if you look at the total village, it's ringed, like it would be defensively. Um, the foliage and the trees and stuff are all stunted, and I mean, it's fall over there and stuff, so you, you know it's, it's going to look like that anyway. Um, but it fits really well in with the motif in that part of the book. Or, like I said earlier, generic village number two, and they shift a few things around, and then it's generic village number three, and they shift a few things around, and it's generic village number four. We don't know. Uh, could be either or. Um, but I I truly don't believe that this is Emmons Field, just for the sole reason that there's too many changes from the books, and I think they're going to want to nail it first off, right out the gate, to be the same, um, because it sets the tone of everything else. And if people are happy with the first episode, the first couple episodes, then the changes become much easier to stomach at that point. That's, that's my two cents on that matter. All right, so our last picture that Narek had posted was this one. It is of a potential tinker. Again, I want to let you guys know that these are not official set pictures. They have no weight coming from Wheel of Time on Prime or Rafe or Amazon or any of those things. These are just things that were found uh, that Narek posted that uh, kind of fit um, and and are probably, and I'm going to say this again, I said it before, they're probably from the Wheel of Time. So this could possibly be a tinker uh, with the horse and the wagon. I mean, the wagon, for me, spot on. That's how I envisioned a tinker wagon. I mean, you can't see much of it, really, but it's brightly colored. Uh, the paint's a bit faded. It's not as bright as you'd think it would be, but that does make sense for the type of world that they're going for. Um, it, the horse is a bright blanket on the back. Uh, the horses are very nice. They look well looked after. Um, the tinker. You get to the tinker, there's a lot of bright colors in the bottom half uh, and uh, the undercoat. But the overcoat's kind of drab and gray, so I don't get a Tinker vibe from that. Personally, it's not how I pictured the Tinkers in their heads. Um, I think Perrin described them as uh, you look at them and you blink because it's it's just so much, such bright contrasting colors in their clothing. It's such happy, happy you know outfits they wear. I don't really get that from this. But then again, they do change some things to make things fit for TV. Um, Maybe those bright, contrasting, really, really, really vibrant colors didn't look nice in the camera. And personally, I don't think they would. I mean, this is bright enough. There's enough colors there that you can think it's a tinker. But, you know, if you had like a fluorescent blue and a fluorescent like orange or something on the bottom, you'd, it'd be too distracting to watch on the TV. It really would. Kind of like some of the superhero costumes in the Marvel movies. They're changed to make them more palatable to watch. So you can see them and, and you know, deal with them a little bit better. So is this a picture of a tinker? I think so. Uh, I think I think it probably is a picture from the Wheel of Time set. It is certainly, you know, Tinker-ish, <laughs> if you want to say it one that that way. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, Tinker or the the Tuintha, the the traveling people, they uh, they are they factored heavily into the books, um, and they are they are in the first book. Perrin uh, does meet them uh, when he's traveling with Elias, uh, and um, Ray and the Seeker and uh, and the whole band of them. Uh, that particular band of, of, of Tinkers do factor into the books a few other times. So, will we see Tinkers in the first season? 100%. We're going to see them, and you'll see them again. So, the fact is that they're filming the first season now, and this is a possible picture of a Tinker. It makes sense to me. All right, so that's all the news or uh, leaks or potential news or however you want to call it that I have for you today. Uh, so before I go, I do want to thank all of you for watching the videos. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. So you hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell. Um, I usually put out a couple of videos a week. Uh, again, they're usually in the weekends. Sometimes I'll put them out during the middle of the week. It depends on when we get news. If we get uh, a big pile of news and, you know, I have free time during the week, uh, I'll definitely put a video out then too. So hit that notification bell so you know when they're coming out. All right, well, thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of the video in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the pictures, anything that you think in them. Um, and here's to many more.